Hey everybody, Matthew Grower here, live again from Sure to Grow Studios. Installment number four in the How To Hydroponic Series, Jeremy Borger to my right. Hey everyone, glad to be here again. Matt, now we are going to build a, we've already done top drip, we've already done flood and drain. Now we are doing raft slash DWC. Yeah, the raft is really something that uh, I'd like to believe we developed. Um, we took a, the idea of the lettuce raft that's used in the commercial lettuce industry and kind of applied it to hobby hydroponics. The difference is our raft sits on a much deeper bath than what we would commonly see in a lettuce situation. And in a lettuce situation, you have rafts that you know are 50 feet long, 100 feet long. These okay. are much smaller. So what we've done is we've kind of adopted that idea that was developed, you know, 50 some years ago. Merle Jensen had his hand in that, uh, you know, uh, Merle. Lead, yeah, leader in hydroponics. So what we're going to do is, uh, as a prerequisite to this video, I suggest that you view the previous video on how you build a flood and drain system. Actually, I, I suggest you watch all the videos because we build upon concepts throughout, which are going to apply to uh, the final video, especially. And, and, and those are all at suretogrowvideo.com. That's correct. Okay. So what we have here is a reservoir, 28 gallon tote again. Inside of this is a, a, a standard aquarium pump with a hose coming off of it. We also have a air stone hooked up to an airline, hooked up to an air pump. So what we have right here is basically a big bucket of water with a water pump that's gonna be able to deliver water to that table that I'm going to bring up. And we have an air pump that's going to impart oxygen to this bath. And this was covered in the flood and drain system. That was Same covered, setup. Same yeah, setup. Okay. just trying to, trying to save time and, and not you know cross paths. That's right, don't wanna cross streams. So what we have here is we take this line that's Providing this table with the water, we're gonna plug it into the fill valve, right like this. Now, DWC stands for deep water, deep water culture. Deep water culture, and really the method of growing DWC is really just the use of um, net pots that are submerged in a highly oxygenated water bath. So um, water with a lot of bubbles. Water with a lot of bubbles. You're gonna start with your standard flood and drain setup, but instead of flooding your table four times a day or six times a day or whatever, you're going to run it continuously. So what you're gonna do is you're going to be pumping water into here as you're simultaneously pulling water back out. And okay. what that's going to do is it's gonna allow more oxygen to reside inside the table because you're constantly turning it over. Okay. It's also gonna give your plants fresh nutrients because it's constantly turning the nutrients over. Okay. The drawback is, is that it is kind of energy inefficient because you're running the pump 24 seven versus only on for 15 minutes, four times a day. Okay, so the flood and drain system would fill up and then drain out. Yes, this is just- This one's constantly moving. Right. Okay. The other part that's imperative to this, in the flood and drain system, you don't place any air stones in this bath, inside this vessel because okay. it floods and drains. Right. In this circumstance, because it's going to be completely filled with water all the time, you're going to want to put a series of air stones in here. Okay. All right. Here's the deal, though. All right. There's a problem. It's not a problem, but you must be aware that what you've been told all along about the amount of oxygen you need in a reservoir and or bath has been wrong. You need exponentially more. Um, ideally, in a system that I would build, I'm looking at 28 liters per gallon of working water. So the goal is to calculate how much water is inside this tub. Okay. Multiply by 28. That will right. give you the total amount of liters of air that you'd want to place in here. Once okay. you have that number, you're going to add as many pumps as necessary to provide that much oxygen in here. Okay. Now, mind you, 28 is optimum. You could go all the way down to 15 liters per gallon and probably not see too much of a performance decrease. Okay. But you have to know some math to do this. A little math. All right. A little math would be helpful. So imagine this thing full of water and it's going to be percolating with tons of air stones. The next step is to actually make a raft. So right here is a piece of construction foam. You can buy this at a Home Depot or Lowe's or any construction warehouse. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it to fit the rough opening of the interior diameter, just a little bit smaller. So it's going to float inside here. Like a raft. Like a raft. Is there any way that we can, there we go. Just like this. So imagine if that was full of water, that would be floating on top. Now, okay. what I'd like you to do is, while I'm talking a little bit about uh, reservoir temperature and dosing, yep. I'd like you to take this hole saw, which is a three and five eighths hole saw, and I'd like you to drill some holes anywhere in here you like. It anywhere? Anywhere. It doesn't really matter. You Not can take this up. You can draw it on them. You can do it around them. It, it's really irrelevant. So as Borger does that and drills some holes in the top of that raft, let's talk a little bit about your reservoir. It's imperative that you keep the reservoir temp below 85 degrees. Once it gets above 85 degrees, you see a decrease in the performance of your nutrients as a result of the temperature increase. Also, as the water temperature increases, 
there's a decrease in the amount of dissolved oxygen. So the colder the water, the more dissolved oxygen you can put into it, within reason. Anything below 55 degrees then becomes detrimental to the plant. So you want that range to be somewhere between 55 and 85 for your nutrients to work optimally and to increase the amount of dissolved oxygen in the reservoir. I think this is the best video we've done. I can't get these to drill through. Let me see what you got here. Let me see if I can't help you with this. I think that the... I wasn't, I wasn't forceful enough, I guess. Well, I'm sometimes you, uh, you have to teach the raft a lesson. Yeah. And that's uh, what we're doing here. If you would grab those net pops over there, that would be great. Yes, if you could show those to Steve. Wow. Uh, what okay. we have here is about a three and a quarter inch uh, net pot. This one's full of hail, our new aggregate product. What's nice about it is it's going to perform just like hydrogen. So if you're a hydrogen grower, it's an exceptionally dry media. It's pH neutral. It's sterile. It's going to give you all the drainage properties of hydrogen and still have all the benefits of STG. And it can fit in any size. Yeah, container. it was really designed for the larger size containers or odd shaped pots. Uh, what we find is the larger the container is, the more it's imperative that you uh, understand how much drainage you need. And this is going to drain profusely. It's not going to want to have a tremendous amount of residence time. And residence time is the amount of time it, the nutrient stays within the substrate. Okay. So this is a net pot that has STG hail in it. It's a great product. It's brand new. We also have a tried and true and a favorite amongst a lot of hobby growers already. This is our Royal insert. It's a three inch insert specifically designed for this type of net pot. Uh, you're hard pressed to find any better media. And in fact, in this application, the Arroyo might actually be better than the hail. So we have a pot full of hail, and we have a pot with uh, the Arroyo in it. What we would do then... And all these are on suretogrow.com. Right. What okay. you do is you take one of the clipper cloners, assuming that you have a clone in here, you plug it right into the top, and you're ready to go. With the hail, because it's an aggregate, you can move, if you want to move those cubes around. Okay. Kind of like as if you're planting it in soil. Okay. All right. Fits well. You're going to plug these pots. Would you like to plug your pot right into the top I'd there? I'd love to plug my pot right there. That's all you got to do. Let this sit right on top of this bath. Hmm. And you're good to go. And now it floats there like a raft. Floats there like a raft in this exceptionally highly oxygenated bath. Other than being a little bit energy efficient, there really is no other drawback to the system. Okay. You have a root mass that's in a highly oxygenated bath, which is great. Okay. Uh, you have the ability to transform and push nutrients to your plant 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Okay. And uh, the dissolved oxygen is relatively high, therefore great. keeping anaerobic pathogens down. Okay, cool. So that is the raft slash DWC slash deep water culture system. Well, Borger, what do you think? I like it. We got a couple more videos. You can go to suretogrowvideo.com to watch the, uh, watch the entire series. Once again, don't forget to check out uh, the new STG Hail, especially if you're a large pot grower or a large bucket grower, or say you have a custom system that has an odd shape, STG Hail is for you. Those of you who are growing in these three and three quarter inch net pots, the Arroyo can't be beat. Once again, thanks for stopping by. Keep on growing. Peace.